life is in some cartoon musical where you sing a little song and all your insipid dreams magically come true. So show yourself and go into the unknown. Do the next right thing. Hey guys, this is Frozen Thing Steers here and welcome back to another movie review. And today I am going to be doing a review on Zootopia. So Zootopia is the seventh uh, film in the Disney re revival age era and came out in the year 2016 and is directed by uh, Brian Howard and Rich Moore, the former uh, did, uh, directed, uh, directed Encanto, um, Tangle, the, and Bolt, and, and the latter, uh, Rich Moore directed the, the Wreck-It Ralph movies. I think you all know which, which of the two directors is far superior. And, uh, yeah, and stars... Um, Jennifer Goodwin, Jason Bateman, Idris Elba, Jenny Slate, Nate Torrent, Bonnie Hunt, Don Lake, Tommy Chong, J.K. Simmons, Octavia Spencer, Alan Tudyk, Shakira, Raymond S. Percy, um, Percy, um, or Percy, uh, I don't know how you pronounce it, Kristen Bell, et cetera, et wow, what a big cast uh, for an animated uh, Disney film, uh, and, uh, and basically, Zootopia tells the story of of the young of a young buddy named Judy Hobbs who aspires to be a police officer, wanting to make uh, the world a better place. But then, but unfortunately, uh, people um, are uh, denying uh, Judy Hobbs uh, being a uh, being becoming a an officer because you know um in Zootopia the police officer officers are only men and they don't accept women yeah you know the rate the racial thing back you know similar to back in the old age old age where you know men can do things that women can't you know all that stuff and so yeah but judy um not listening to what uh, the naysayers say uh prove tries to prove herself to become the, the police officer that she aspires to and of course she uh and of course, uh, she um, ends up becoming a police officer, but but not a well received one. As first of all, uh, Judy, uh, it Judy um, becomes uh, Ju um a more of a meter maid uh, who gives up parking tickets instead of uh, being a real cop and solving cases and and, and contributing to, to things that will make Zootopia a better place. But but yeah, when um uh, it, it, oh yeah, and also. Um, Judy Hobbs encounters this this fox named Nick Well who uh, is kind of an asshole to him, kind of an asshole to her, and uh, she's warned by her parents to avoid foxes. Uh, but yeah, um, one day uh, Judy Hobbs uh, encounters this author who is uh, searching for her husband, uh, her husband Emmett Otterton. Otterton, yeah, her husband has gone missing, and 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 um, Judy wasn't assigned to a case uh, like they they are uh, as the rest of the police officers uh, are all assigned to uh, take on a case uh, of to, to search for different missing mammals and investigate uh, what made them go missing uh, but go missing but yeah um, Judy Hobbs uh, and Nick Wall are both assigned uh, on the case uh, to uh, become to find I'm an auditor well technically Nick Wall is not an officer he just it's just that Judy Hobbs recruits Nick uh, yeah, but then um throughout um throughout the, the this uh, mission this investigation uh Judy and Nick uh, find them find themselves uh, having this uh connection this really uh deep connection uh, with each other and they um connection and they start to form a bond and realize that that they actually make a perfect pair uh yeah but somehow but one day Judy actually reali realizes that that these characters are actually going back uh, to their savage ways uh, like like th what they were back then yeah zootopia became a did this whole place beca became a world where prey and predator uh lived in peace and harmony but uh yeah someone is uh experimenting on them to um to well uh, become e um the the predator they once were again so they must uh well judy and nick must solve the case and be able to uh get zootopia to go back to the U to um bring back its unity so yeah man i know i i explained the plot from start to finish like the entire plot but i mean have i'm have you guys even seen this movie i'm sure a majority of us has uh, so yeah um now um just like with big hero 6 uh, I, I definitely do have an interesting history with zootopia as this was actually one of my favorite movies uh when i uh, first saw it in theaters now yes uh just like everyone else, I actually was not expecting much from this movie. 
I was not um, expecting much from Zootopia because uh, the, the trailers are like, okay, this looks pretty good, but it looks more like one of uh, Disney's uh, B movies, and uh, it looks like it, it, it wasn't going to be one of uh, Disney's uh, greatest films. It, I, didn't think, I didn't think it was going to be my favorite. It wasn't even one of my most anticipated movies so of, of uh, 2016. Um, if you're wondering what my most anticipated uh, anime film that year was, it was actually uh, um, Finding Dory. And I think, uh, and uh, yeah, which I, I still liked it, but it's not really um, that good. It's not like a peak level and nowhere near as good as Fighting Nemo. But yeah, when I, oh yeah, also, I think Kung Fu Panda 3 was also um, my most anticipated anime film 2016. That technically, Kung Fu Panda 3 and Finding Dory were tied. So yeah, but. When I when I saw Zootopia in theaters and walked out of it, I honestly fell in love with the movie. I, I could not stop thinking about it. Uh, I remember being on the edge of my seat uh, watching this movie from start to finish. And then like a few months later, uh, I was on a Disney cruise in May 2016. And then that's what they were showing, Zootopia. Yep. Like uh, my like one time, uh, my, yeah, my, my parents um went out of the cruise and, and, and left me alone because apparently... Uh, one one of the one of the stops in the Disney cruise was Jim, Jamaica and then I, uh, Jamaica and then um yeah my my mom told me um better if I just not go and stay in the cruise because Jamaica is just all shop it's just all shopping there's there's no active rec- recreational activity so my mom said just stay in the cruise and just let her do all the shopping because I wasn't really a shopping guy back then I was only like twelve years twelve years old and you know what I did when I stayed in the cruise yep watch Zootopia two screenings in a row yep. I saw Zootopia twice in the Disney Cruise. Yep, how cool is that? Yeah, that that is uh, and, and I even watched Zootopia in the plane. Uh, believe it or not. Um, yeah. So technically, um, I watched Zootopia three times. Rewatched it three times. Uh, during my vacation, uh, that to the U.S. That's how much I love Zootopia. I really admire this movie. I and I I really do ad- ad- admire this movie and this. But honestly, I never really dove, dove deep into why I, why Zootopia is too good because you know I of course I was not a critic back then so I wouldn't really see what what you know, the the true um meaning behind it the true meaning that that makes uh, Zootopia uh, as good as it is I was like oh I just love this movie because I can't stop thinking about it I I can't stop watching it and all that stuff. But when I became a critic now when I became a critic now I started to realize what makes Zootopia. A perfect movie. What makes it a masterpiece and beloved, and beloved. I mean, hell, this even movie even won best anime feature at the Oscars. Uh, yeah, best anime feature at the Oscars. And also, by the way, I love how Haley Steinfeld was the one who uh, presented the uh, best anime feature that year. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the uh, yeah it was Haley Steinfeld out of all people. Yeah, and yeah, and and I know many people are saying stuff like, oh. Uh, Moana should have won or Kubo should have won. No, what not Zootopia. Well, te- te- technically, thankfully, not as much as, um, yeah, there are people who complain about that, but thankfully, not as much as Big Hero Six, where people literally kept on complaining, oh, uh, why did Big Hero Six win? This is a crime. Big Hero Six sucks. It's it's mid, but yeah, if you want to see my Big Hero Six review, go check it out. I, I yeah did a whole defense video and unexplaining why uh Big Hero Six deserves the appreciation and got why I think that movie deserves that. Uh, to win a uh, best anime feature and and all that stuff and yeah but yeah thankfully Zootopia isn't underrated it, it got a lot of recognition but yeah um it got a lot of recognition and, and I'm happy about that so yeah now I am here today to um explain to you all on why I love Zootopia and yes I rewatched it many times and after rewatching after this Zootopia rewatch this respective rewatch I gotta tell you, this movie still holds up as a masterpiece. Yeah, if you remember in my uh, top 10 favorite Disney movies of all time, I place this at number three. Yeah, I place this, yeah, I, I put this movie as my third favorite Disney anime film of all time. Well, technically that was at the time when I uh, when Lion King was only at number four, so, and now Lion King is at number two. Um, My second favorite Disney anime movie of all time. You all know what number one is. I, and. I will certainly get to that movie uh, this weekend. Uh, so yeah, um, yes, I. This is my third favorite. Now this is my fourth favorite, though. I'm not sure which I prefer, this or Encanto. But as of now, I still prefer Encanto slightly, slightly more. But I will uh, rewatch Encanto to, to see which is better, this movie or Encanto. But I will say this right now that um, yeah, um, Encanto just 
gets the edge because I, I feel like it, it's just a little more magical. Like, it has a Disney princess. It has a character who looks like Asha. Well, not as much as people say it is. And as Asha and, um, yeah, it's just, I just adore Encanto, yeah. I had the same feeling with Encanto as I did with Zootopia. When, when I, I didn't expect much from it, but, but I was blown away when I saw it. I will not review Encanto because my review of it back last year was perfect enough, um, as perfect as it is. So, yeah. Now let's get into what makes Utopia a masterpiece. What makes this movie perfect? Yeah, there's like so many things I can think of, but you know, since this is an animated film, I thought why not start with the animation? The, my God, this has one of the best animations I have ever seen in a Disney movie period, especially in the revival era. I mean, wow, this world of, of Utopia is just impressive and jaw-droppingly droppingly gorgeous i mean wow um like first of all the animal designs in this movie are perfect i mean it's not just that you know you just look at it and they all just look they all just you know they're all just good looking they're like you know um the, you know, especially with how adorable judy hobbs is and yeah judy hobbs is, is just too cute the one of the cutest characters ever and, and i will sing my praises to uh judy hobbs uh later on is what specifically as a character um but what I love about Zootopia with the animation, specifically with the character designs, is that they all feel like actual animals. They, they, yeah, they feel like um actual animals. So uh, unlike you know some, um, crappy uh, animal movies we got where like you know, so certain movies that um depict animals as you know hum as you know just humans and not giving them enough personality, making them extremely bland. Cough cough. Sing. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Illumination. Yeah, Zootopia actually makes these animals feel like animals. Yeah, you know, this movie is being represented uh, in a human-like city, in a human-like world, in a human-like world. But, but the the people around it, the animals around it, actually feel like animals. They behave like animals, even when they're not going savage. But, the 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 whole idea of of you know turning predators uh, into savage is actually what makes the, the animation good. Is one thing because you know um they really do um make you know, these animals feel like actual animals and, and even when, when they're not savage they still uh, feel really good like for example take a look at judy hobbs's animation like you know um whenever judy hobbs uh, is happy and feels good uh, her bunny ears would raise up uh, would raise up but when whenever judy hobbs fe feels down you know sad you know and she doesn't feel good and maybe even mad uh, her her ears uh, would go down so that's actually what I what I really admire uh about you know Judy's personality. The same can be said for Nick Wilde. His you know you, you can clearly tell he's a fox despite being a human. Um, the sheep in this movie are sheep. Uh, act like sheep instead of like just regular human people. The lions uh, feel like lions. It's like the movie truly did some research uh, to be able to um, how do I say this? Uh, to uh, be able to, to to have a perfect and accurate depiction of these uh, animals and uh, it, it it just works uh, so well um so well and um what else is there to say i i think that there's uh, something else oh yeah and the background animation oh my god the anim the design of zootopia is dropped that gorgeous here yeah. yeah besides arendelle the enchanted forest at the holland uh, all the frozen two worlds technically and uh and most likely Rosas when Wish comes out. Uh, I gotta say, uh, Zootopia is one of my favorite Disney locations ever. Besides the ones I just mentioned, uh, I mean probably even better. I probably put this um above uh, the uh, Casita from Encanto if I were to rank uh, the uh, Disney Disney um locations. But man, I I desperate I desperately want to go to uh, Zootopia. Yeah, maybe out of all um the. Out of all the worlds, I feel like Zootopia is the place I want to go to the most. Yeah, as much as, as much as I love uh, the Enchanted Forest and Atta Holland, I don't think forests uh, is, is my kind of type. But Arendelle, yes, Arendelle is gorgeous. I love Arendelle and most likely roses, but they don't look like uh, the kind of uh, worlds I want to go to. But Zootopia looks like the world, looks like the Disney world that I want to live in. Just, yeah, I want to see myself as, as an animal, just... Um, Living there, uh, living in quote unquote peace and harmony. We'll get to that in a bit. And yeah, the environment, um, the environment is just so um beautiful. Like 
even for the first time, like every time I, I see the Judy Hopps traveling to Zootopia for the very first time and, and just seeing the world for the very first time, I was absolutely floored by it. Yeah, I was floored uh, just seeing this world, uh, seeing the, the, the world of Zootopia. And yeah, just beautiful. In fact, the, the scene with Judy um, riding on the train, traveling to Zootopia, traveling, traveling to, to Zootopia and... Um, listening to uh, 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 try everything um, yeah I, I know I, I'm out of tune I know but you get what I mean yeah listening to try everything and then now uh, we see like the, the train just uh, entering Zootopia and then you're just like holy shit what a beautiful world that is wow um wow I mean it is some um, yeah that is my personal favorite scene in the film and speaking of try everything Man, honestly, Try Everything is one of the most underrated Disney songs of all time. Yeah, it is uh, one of my favorite Disney um, Renaissance era songs. No, Disney Revival era songs. And one of my favorite Disney songs in general. Yeah, first of all, yeah, I mean, Shakira freaking nails it. I've been singing it. Uh, she's been singing it. I mean, it is easily uh, the best uh, Shakira song. Uh, way better than uh, Samanamana, eh, eh, Waka Waka, eh, eh, Samanamana, no, 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 no. Yeah, that song is honestly annoying. That song annoys me to the hell. But Try Everything is the complete opposite of Waka Waka. For whatever, like, whatever the hell that, that song is. So, yeah, um, and, and it's, it's, it's really a shame that this move, that that Try Everything did not uh, win Best Animate, Best uh, Original Song, didn't even get nominated, hell. Uh, because, honestly, it might just be my, my, my favorite song of uh, 2016. Yep. It's better than any of the songs in La La Land, better than the Moana songs, and uh, especially better than uh, uh, my least favorite song of all the time, Can't Stop the Feeling. I, oh my god, I'm getting sick just thinking about the song. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Try, who agrees Try Everything should have uh, gotten an, an Oscar nomination instead of for Best Original Song instead of uh, instead of uh, Can't Stop the Feeling that is the definition of unfairity that is uh, beyond unfair and yeah um, Try Everything is just um, not only is it very catchy and upbeat but it actually has a positive message you know um, about you know um, bringing yourself up uh, of, of bringing your, yourself up but uh, when you're down uh, you know, I won't, and don't give up, you know, I won't give up, no, I won't give in, till I reach the end, uh, and then I'll start again, no, I won't believe, I want to try everything, yep, see, that, like, that is a very inspirational message to you, to, to everyone, like, and speaking of messages, I want to get, go to that as my next point now, because, you, you know, you may have, you know, your, your, anim the animation, the enjoyment, the entertainment level, the, the great character development, and, all, all that stuff but I think that the message is is what made Zootopia as per the themes and messages are are what makes us Zootopia as perfect as it is yeah like what makes it truly special if it wasn't for this then maybe this wouldn't have been I wouldn't have praised this movie as much as I would have done so yeah the message in this movie um, is probably the best messages in any Disney movies I know I've uh, Praise Disney for taking for taking risks, uh, for taking taking risks. You know, like especially with the revival era, like killing off certain characters like Mufasa, uh, Ray from Princess and the Frog, and also Tadashi, and also having a brutal scene uh, when uh, having a a brutal scene when um, um, Mother Gothel stabs uh, Flynn Rider, and, and we even get to see uh, Flynn's blood uh, visibly shown. But yeah, what if I but. I think Zootopia has the risky is the riskiest uh, um Disney um has the riskiest you know it is the riskiest Disney movie yet. A big hero six tackling tackling on the themes of grief uh, and acceptance and you know moving on from your loved ones and dealing with the death isn't uh, deep enough for for a Disney movie. How about a Disney movie that tackles with real life issues that tackles with that uh how do I say this um. That tackles real world issues uh, and, and brings in the political and social commentary to it. Yeah, that I mean, this movie has so much hidden message about you know what, about this movie has so much hidden messages. So, uh, like and like, it's just impressive. I honestly did not notice this message. Uh, did not know notice that that message uh, back then. Now I know I did notice that the message of this of this movie was, don't judge people by. 
uh, was you know, don't judge people, um, something like that. Um, yeah, don't judge uh, people, you know, um, and, and we're all different. Yeah, it is there. It is an obvious message. But when you actually look into deeper into Zootopia, which I'm glad many people did, unlike Big Hero 6, where a lot of people just didn't seem to... Uh, get go dive deep into it not a lot of people realize that it was about grief grief and, and accept us people be like oh it's just another generic superhero movie with, with, with a formulaic plot thank god people actually realize no this happened zootopia but yeah zootopia talks about you know the the current world we live in a world like themes you know this movie has so much themes of power corruption racism prejudice and equality and and this movie has a message about unity about you know um accepting everyone's differences accepting everyone for who they are and uh, no, no matter you know if they're not the same and that no one has to be the same as one another that is some powerful message there uh guys i mean can you believe that disney would actually uh um tackle a social commentary here um and yeah um if and I know for a fact that I'm actually glad that, that this movie released in uh, 2016 instead of uh, present day because present day because you know um uh, pr- present day because you know if Zootopia released in present day and, and, and tried to tackle this commentary I know people are uh, gonna be like oh this movie is so woke there's too much politics in it uh, there's too much politics uh, like it, it's not fun enough it's not for the families it's too political it's woke uh, yada 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 I mean yeah there was one part where, where I commented about Zootopia and, and, and someone literally said, replied to me saying it's quote unquote too woke and honestly I, that kind of broke my heart that really made me upset when I hear that when I heard that cause you know no one calls this movie woke uh, in fact, movies should never be called woke. That is a uh, that that is you know a big fat L uh, when it comes to um, movie criticism. When it comes to judging movies, yeah, that is what I I hate about movie critics nowadays. They just uh, look into the political aspect of it all, and and then just would be like, oh, this movie is woke. I mean, what happened to judging uh, movies based on you know the story, the plot? Uh, the, the the plot the, the the filmmaking now it's about you know oh if there's political um stuff or not in it yeah what a, what a shame and, and I know you, you guys are gonna be like oh but don't does don't critics like woke movies well yeah well yeah but I mean I'm talking about you know the, the more yeah general audience and yeah those kinds of people and those kinds of people but yeah but I'm actually glad that Zootopia again released in a time when woke uh, wasn't an issue well besides well. Ghostbusters, the Ghostbusters uh, reboot uh, released in that year, and you know, you all know how that, how how garbage that that movie is. But yeah, I mean, going back to the themes, the messages of uh, of Zootopia, yeah, it's just brilliant. Uh, it's just you know brilliant, and also a very original message that you know we haven't heard before. Yeah, this movie is entirely original. Yes, you know the story. Um, well, I, I know some people are, are probably gonna say that it, it has the uh typical follow your dreams bloodline, which is um what the movie is on the outside. And yes, that is true. That this that the follow your dreams storyline of you know the, the main character wanting us wanting to um the, the the main character wanting to uh become something that everyone else uh thinks that she won't do and and ends being neglected by everyone and, and then uh still becomes uh the the um person that uh yeah still becomes the, the person that that you thought he wasn't uh no i mean still become you know the fulfills a dream but realizes that the, the dream uh isn't uh more isn't more than the, the dream uh isn't uh exactly what you think and and, and is isn't what you think you know and chief bogo uh says it best life is some cartoon musical where you sing a little song and all your insipid dreams magically come true yeah and speaking of which this might be this is a very realistic movie yeah one of Disney's most real realistic movies ever maybe I, I I'd say probably their most realistic movies the movie yet because you know of how it it tackles themes uh, if uh, how it uh, tackles themes of racism and uh, and prejudice and equality yeah I mean they they literally try to compare try to bring in our world our, our society our social issues to an animal world and actually makes it made it, and they actually made it feel realistic uh, when you actually do some research you'd know that there's actually some accurate uh, information there yeah there, there's actually very uh, accurate uh, 
accurate ideas. Yeah, the ideas are very accurate. Uh, talking about you know, um, talking about you know all that stuff. Uh, and yeah, it is some. Um, okay, I'm a little lost right now, but yeah, it's very uh, realistic. And, and and yeah, whoever wrote this movie is a genius. And I hope the writer of this movie actually got got to wrote, write more uh, Disney movies. Uh, write more Disney movies because we need more movies like this. Well, we have a Zootopia too. I'll talk about Zootopia 2 uh, in the end of the review, but yeah, maybe enough with talking about you know, all the messages. Oh wait, no, um, is there anything more else to say? Oh yeah, um, yeah, I, I think I've uh, done enough of this, but yeah. Oh yeah, one thing I pointed out as well, this is a dark and mature movie. Yeah, it is very dark and mature. I mean, this, I mean, the themes of, you know, racism, prejudice uh, are, are, you know, are all there, but this movie... Yeah, it goes the, the the dark route. It makes sense. I mean, and this movie actually does have some frightening images. You know, you know, images. You no, know, like for example, uh, I'm sure you know, you know that you all know that one big jump scare, uh, playing playing in the trailer where like you know um, Judy, you know that scene where when uh, Judy and Nick uh, went in inside this facility, which turns out was actually owned by Mayor Lightheart, who who caged all these uh, mammals. Uh, and, and and then we see Mr. Otterton Ald- uh make this um really big jump scare where where he like literally jumped on the where where Nick was like standing um behind this one one of the doors cell doors and Mr. Otterton Ald- just uh, straight up jumps on on Nick Wild like and man I I, I see honestly I got mad that's always that jump scare always gets me yeah I yeah that jump scare yeah it always gets me and I always get jump scared um every, every time every single time I see that yeah that is uh yeah I, I can't believe it's it actually um it's able it's able to have an effect on me um, and and this is an animated family you know when an animated movie has a jump scare some um, has a jump scare better than all the horror movie jump all the horror movie jump scare like like is more effective then you know um those uh, kinds of horror movies uh horror movies uh really do screw up and i mean yeah it's especially uh, looking at you exorcist believer because that movie has one of the worst uh jump scares in, in any uh, horror movie i've ever seen and uh, horror, horror movies uh i've ever seen and yeah um and yeah and, and this movie even just shows you know how predators are being tortured the uh, like like you know well turning them into savages one thing but we see like you know all the villains just torturing them uh um just uh, t- torturing them and uh you know um and all that stuff and, and you see them like getting hurt and, and then you see them getting a collar yeah there and also another thing that's dark about this movie another dark element about this movie is nick wilde's uh, backstory yeah the backstory of Nick Wilde, yeah, one of the absolute best scenes in the film, one of the absolute best scenes in the film. Um, yeah, um, the, the young Nick Wilde scene, basically, you know, when he joined this ranger scout, um, filled with fray when he's a predator, and 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 then suddenly, um, and then uh, suddenly, um, everyone seems to re- reject Nick Wilde for being, uh, for you know, um, being a uh. A predator, and, and then they all just bully him and and, and pull a collar, a collar in him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys, those are the kinds of people who seem to accept the fact that that things change, and also, that is actually one thing. Uh, one of the messages of, of this movie, uh, I forgot to point out. Uh, I uh for for, for forgot to point out. Uh, you know that um, um that is that the one of the messages of, of this movie is to accept change that. Except the fact that people can change, you know, you know, people think that that there are some people who still think that predators cannot change. You know, they went back to 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 their savage way. They were they were once savage, but then you know, but then later on they uh, they had their peace and unity, and and prey and predator live together. But then um later on it was revealed that people still that that pe- that they still had the um, pre- prejudice against each other, knowing that you know they'll never change, even though they think they changed. Uh, yeah, and all that stuff. So yeah, just accept it, uh, and yeah, accept the facts. So yeah, um, now let's move on to uh, the characters. Yeah, I love every single character here, even even over this one character that I, that I think is that I personally defend, and I think is completely misunderstood. And I think you all know why, because 
almost everyone I, I know gives just one uh, criticism with the movie. And uh, I'll talk about the other characters first. Let's start off with Nick Wilde. I, I just want to get this out of the way though with uh, Nick Wilde. Nick Wilde is honestly kind of overrated. Yeah, honestly. Now, many people say that Nick Wilde is is um the best character uh in the movie. Like almost Nick Wilde is a fan favorite, and I feel like people only say that just because he he's a male character. And every time you have a female character as the lead, the male the main male character is always uh the one to to take the spotlight, and that is um. Uh, and yeah, but at the same time though, I'm not gonna attack. I'm not attacking anyone who uh, who uh, thinks Nick Wilde is the best character here and, and prefers him over Julie House. I mean, sure, Nick Wilde's an asshole, but I mean, I love uh, Nick Wilde's development of, of just um, Nick Nick Wilde's development of, of just growing as a character and 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 becoming uh, and uh, becoming uh, you know um, you know um very likable like and so yeah he, he goes from an asshole to, to a very likable character and i and i like that yeah that is um a great uh, character arc for for nick wilde a a very good character arc for him but i just don't think he, he's the best character um in the film he's honestly my third favorite character i'll get to my top two i'll get to my, my favorite character right now the best character in the movie well i think no one is surprised by this the best character in the movie is hands down judy hobbs my god i love judy hobbs so much i i love everything about her uh she is one of the greatest disney protagonists of all time right up there with anna elsa and most likely asha yeah i think judy hobbs uh, is, is a better protagonist than mirabel very said yeah that's actually one reason why I might consider putting uh, Zootopia uh, above Encanto, but I gotta rewatch Encanto first to uh, fully decide on that. But Julie Hobbs has a much stronger character arc than Nick Wilde. In fact, fun fact, guys, if you guys don't know, back then uh, the original plan, the original plan of, of, of Zootopia was to make Nick Wilde the main character, Nick Wilde the the, the main character. But when um but. Audience, but test screeners. Um, during a test screening, so uh, audiences in a test screening said that uh, they, uh, um, they didn't really like how um, they, 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 I mean, they thought that they, they connected with Nick Wilde. Uh, no, 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 wait. Sorry, let me rephrase that. They didn't think that Nick Wilde uh, was a main character. Yeah, apparently Nick Wilde wasn't that well received uh, as a main character because they, they they couldn't connect with him. Um, and and the character that they connected with more is Judy Hobbs. So uh. So when um uh, so taking into criticism some of uh, the the test screeners, Disney decided to change the plot and make Judy Hobbs the protagonist. And I know people are, are are like, Nick Wilde should have been the protagonist, not Judy Hobbs. I mean, but I mean I like this better. I like Judy Hobbs be, being the, the main character better because you know Judy has a great character. Yeah, sure, a little bit of a fish out of water uh character development of just you know. Again, like what I said earlier, wanting to become a police officer, but then um, but then getting judged by everyone because of how uh, all all the, all the male, all the officers in Zootopia are male, and so uh, Judy Thompson is like, no, I don't care if you say it. I'm gonna be the first uh, female officer and the first little bunny officer because because all the other police officers are big and strong and muscles, and we even see Zootopia uh, and we even see Zootopia um. We even we, no, we even see you know um Judy Hobbs training and and uh training and and she um you know and she um you know um falls uh she falls you know she she falls down but 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 she tries other things she tries other things other other solutions to get in the way I guess Desi is trying to uh bring in the message of Big Heroes one one of Big Hero Six's messages to to this movie you know of uh oh uh like. Th like you know, think your way, think your way out of the problem. Look for a new angle, yeah, and look for a new angle, and, and, and that's what Judy Hobbs does. You know, when she has a problem, she thinks her way out of it, and looks for a new angle, a new solution to her problem, and and yeah, that's that's actually why Judy Hobbs uh, listens to try everything a lot because, and, and, and you know, I think we all know that that try everything is Judy Hobbs's favorite song, and I can totally see why because it, it it really does um inspire Judy Hobbs. Uh, yeah, because you know, like what I said, you know, the 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 song is about you know um, about you know um, rising up when you're down in the ground when you feel down. Well, metaphor metaphorically down, um, psychologically down, and, and and so you you rise up again, 
you um, rise up uh, and, and try different things uh, in order to solve the problem. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, try everything. It surely is one of the most uh, inspirational songs of all time. Like, like it, it, I just love how written it is. That's actually why it's my favorite, why, why it's my favorite song of 2016. I mean, I mean, can't stop the feeling. What does that have uh, to do with the, uh, okay, well, don't worry. I'm not going to mention, bring up Trolls anymore, I promise. Uh, but yeah, um, and then Judy Hobbs is um, and, and then you know, and, and then Judy Hobbs uh, gets uh, neglected, uh, gets uh, neglected uh, by everyone because you know Judy, because the reason why Judy Hobbs wanted to be, a wanted to be a police officer is because she wants to help in solving problems. But but everyone's just like, no, Judy Hobbs, just just be a be a boring meter maid police officer. Just the, we're gonna give you the most boring job in the city we're gonna make you a meter maid and, and, and that's that's what judy ends, ended up being a meter maid a um meter maid and a um meter maid and, and, and but judy's like but even though judy's like judy's like that he she still steps up and and, and convinces uh, chief vogo to chief vogo the boss to actually um to actually let her be be um a, a, a real cop to solve solving crimes uh because because you know she wants to make the world a better place uh, and i'm sure um a, a lot of you know our our careers our jobs uh, are, are are beneficial to to making the the world a better place uh the, the better place a, a better place it just shows there and uh, and all that stuff so yeah um and um and and yes you know that and and then of course well Judy Hobbs uh, when Judy Hobbs have actually solved the case uh, she realizes that, that that she actually isn't as she may have, is that um her dream isn't what she thought it was but uh, she still like she's like I don't care I'm still going to uh I'm still gonna succeed I'm not gonna give up despite it's hard I mean I mean heck there's a seed but when, when Judy Hobbs actually quit you know um yeah. I uh, actually quit when when she um you know went went back to Bunny Burrows uh, selling uh s- selling vegetables and, and being a part of her family business uh, yeah that actually happened in, in an extremely dark scene when you know uh Judy Hobbs are revealed uh, it Judy Hobbs are revealed in in this conference that in, in this speech I'm sure you know that the but uh, like when when you know um everyone already started to see Judy Hobbs uh, as a hero for actually finding finding the other missing mammals and and, and, and then revealing that, that they actually went savage uh, and, may, and and had this theory that could be true that maybe they, they could have went back to the savage ways but then Nick started to um hate on Judy for saying that because uh, he thinks that you know um Judy Hobbs was like that was like t- convincing them to to uh, avoid predators and, and, and that really made Nick mad yeah that 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 really broke Nick's heart when when Judy Hobbs said that because he was um convinced that that, that Judy really does hate predators uh, hate predators and, and, and she might uh, secretly hate she might hate the Nick in secret uh, in, in, in secret so yeah um that's actually why Judy realized that oh, okay my dream isn't what I think um, yeah and, um that actually kind of it's kind of a message you all that uh, just because you, you have a dream in life that uh, doesn't mean it's gonna work out. Uh, doesn't mean it's gonna work out. I mean, to me personally, I wanted to be a director, a film director when I grew up. Uh, I wanted to, to direct movies. Uh, and I've had a mindset since 2015. 2015 was the year well, when I started becoming a, a super fan. Not really a critic, though. I, I started becoming a critic in uh, 2019 or 2020, something like that. Uh, oh, yeah, 2019. Uh, yeah, and actually, that's actually one of the reasons as to... And by the way, yeah. Just, just say um two minutes of a minute of of, of um, saying something off topic. That's actually one reason why two thousand twenty nineteen what well, it is my favorite year ever. Not only because of my favorite movie, Frozen Two coming out, but because two thousand nineteen was the year where I started becoming a critic, and I actually wrote private reviews for myself. Uh, I mean, I I and I actually wrote reviews on comments, and and that was the year where where I started uh reviewing um. Uh, that was a year uh, where I started you know, getting a, a proper YouTube channel. I used to borrow my dad's YouTube channel, by the way, in 2017. But now 2019 is when I opened up my, my own a proper uh, YouTube channel. A uh, pro- proper YouTube channel and um, all that stuff. Yeah, pro- a, a proper YouTube channel, commenting, and, then, and even being a critic. Yeah, that's why I love 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, but I actually wanted to be a film director. Uh, but... 
later on, I eventually realized last year, I, I eventually realized, okay, maybe this dream isn't going to work out for me. So, I mean, just... And, and even my, my mom co- co- convinced me that my, my dream uh, isn't really going to work out. I even had, had, had this had a dream school, a dream college I wanted to pick. But but, but I ended up uh, in a different college that, that, that wasn't a part of my plan. Though, though I still love, love my college, my university. I, I still love my university that, that I, I, am, I, I am in to this day. So yeah, that's, that's something you guys can take note from. You know, just... Because you have a dream doesn't mean it can come true. Because now, now my dream jobs either I want to work in a theme park, which I am going gonna be working in 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 Disneyland in uh, twenty uh twenty three in tw- in summer twenty twenty four, and I'm going to um I'm gonna work there. Um, some some of the jobs I want to be I want to work in a Disney cruise. Yeah, I want to work for Disney. Yeah, I'm working at Disney cruise because why not? Um, I wanna um. I wanna be a journalist like. I actually want. I actually want, want to be a professional film critic. Like, actually work for a, a journalist, uh, But maybe it's not gonna happen because of my bias. And it's, I I recently I read this article um, that said that film critics are supposed to be, are uh, so supposed to be you know um uh animal. The film critics are. Oh wait, what what am I thinking? That is stupid. The film critics are supposed to look at movies objectively, not subjective. Subjective means you know putting your personal bias your personal feelings but a professional critic uh, shouldn't uh, put um in- incorporate their, their their personal feelings uh, in it uh, in it uh, yeah um and so yeah that um so yeah that that's one thing and also one thing i want to be is a film is a film journalist specifically when i when i get through interviews celebrities and other stuff yeah those are my dreams but maybe i i, I could eventually um be- become maybe they could just uh, end up sucking and i could end up uh working as uh, something at uh, working in a job that, that I, I initially wasn't applying to so yeah um like to, to quote hero um to quote hero Hamada in big hero 6 life doesn't always go the way uh you think it's going to go yeah that that's pretty much um that, that one of the message uh messages uh in uh, zootopia and yeah and by the way yeah i, I one thing i point out nick and nick and uh, judy hobbs are a perfect uh chemistry they they are probably my, my second favorite disney duo second only to uh, anna and elsa and, and and also they could probably be my second favorite disney couple second only to anna and Kristoff. yeah judy and nick are just perfect for each other i mean they work together so well and i mean their chemistry is so good that it's so good that it got everyone to ship them and i'm sure that people were um even if you know um, at the end when uh Nick and uh, Judy confessed themselves, you know, uh, when, when uh, Nick, Nick Wall was like, you know, you know you'll love me. And then Judy's like, um, Judy was like, uh, yes, uh, do I? Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah, that, that is a, a, a brilliant move right there. Th- that is a move. Uh, that, that is a move right there. Um, a brilliant one. Um, that um, really, um, how do I say this? Um, that, that really shows that that... that the, the Nick and Judy ship is real and Zootopia 2 I predict that Nick and Judy are, are going to uh, become an actual couple in, in, in the second film and yeah all the supporting characters are great as well no one is bad I mean I love the I love you know um, you know I love you know um, Chief Bogo um, Mayor Lionheart Claw Hauser um, like so many others uh, Judy's parents you know even if they, they may be on minor plot point, um, there and therefore I'm not much. I, I don't have much to say about them. About them, they're all great. I also love Flash as well. He he's just hilarious, and uh, he's just hilarious. Um, and then he's just hilarious. And by the way, the comedy in this movie, wow, what now? Now this is comedy. Yeah, yeah. The the comedy in this movie is just so um, is it is just so um. It's just, you know, so, um, you know, the comedy in this movie is so sharp, but, you know, one of the best comedies in the Disney movies. Like, who knew that Disney would actually be able to come up with adult jokes, especially this joke. What do you call a three-hump camel pregnant? Yeah, oh my god, that is brilliant. That is genius. Yeah, I mean, I, it had me dying. And in that same scene when, when Nick Wall told uh, Flash his joke, uh, t- Flash Leo um, talked to Priscilla, who... Uh, Apparently, it's Priscilla's um, new love. Um, yeah, um, new love, um, love interest. Uh, yeah, um, Priscilla, uh, like Flash, shares this joke, j- shares this joke to Priscilla, and also guess what? Guess who voices uh, 
on um, Priscilla. Yep, Anna herself, Frozen, from Anna herself, Kristen Bell. Yeah, I absolutely love how Kristen Bell is in this movie. Uh, yeah, uh, I love seeing Kristen Bell uh, in this movie, even if it was just a cameo. That is just clever. And yeah, clever. Yeah, and yeah, that joke was clever. But now I want to talk about um, probably an aspect of the movie that I find extremely underrated and misunderstood. And that is uh, Bellwether. Yep. Bellwether is honestly my second favorite character in the movie. Second only to Judy Hubs. And I know Bellwether, um, is mo most people would say Bellwether is their criticism. A lot of people criticize Bellwether despite loving this movie. And some people would say, even say Moana is better than this. Mainly because of how Moana didn't have a twist. But, and, and then there was uh, Bellwether. And people even go as far as saying Bellwether is the worst of the Disney twist villains. But honestly, I gotta say, Bellwether is the best uh, Disney twist villain. Yep, sorry Hans, uh, and sorry Callahan, even though I defend Callahan, but I think Bellwether is the uh, greatest uh, twist villain of all time. Yeah, I know it, it, it. I mean, it's come up to the point where it's become a uh, a trope, which is probably why people hate Bellwether. And plus the fact that Bellwether, um, Bellwether uh, only appears uh, in, in the last uh, portion of the movie, the climax. But here's why I love Bellwether. I, I, I'm actually kind of running out of time here. So I'm, I'm going to keep my f keep this as brief as possible. So now Bellwether is very likable throughout the movie. She actually may be one of the most likable characters in the movie. Yeah, she has this really cute little innocence to it. She's just a small sheep. Uh, uh, she's just a, a small sheep. And, and she's very under underappreciated. And, and, and she's... She just gets neglected by by uh, by assistant by uh, Mayor Lionheart uh, and Ma Mayor Lionheart and yeah Bellwether. It's just an outcast. She's similar to Judy Hobbs, where you know she's very similar to Judy Hobbs, where they're both under underappreciated, but they both want to step up to. They both want to step up uh, to be able to uh, get the, the recognition they, they deserve. I mean, but, but Bellwether is basically the the. Bellwether is uh, basically the opposite of Judy Hobbs. You know, Judy Judy Hobbs has stepped up by by doing the right thing by by you know wanting to prove them wrong. By you know, um, I'm still gonna do what, what I want to do. I don't care if they, if they tell me I should just uh, I should just be pushed to the side, um, be be uh pushed uh, pushed uh, to 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 the to the side uh, and uh, to push the side. And they uh like Judy still proves herself. Yeah, I'd explain that. Bellwether does the opposite. Uh, Bellwether also wants recognition. She also wants it. So what what does she do? She literally tries to go back to the old days of of, of Zootopia for for her fame and glory. And, and she and, and you know, she was very likable. So never would I, never in a million years, not even a movie, would have I would I have thought that that Bellwether would be the the villain, the twist villain, the villain that we have all been waiting for. I mean, I've also been waiting for the the, the villain reveal. So Bellwether. Um, so uh Bellwether actually um So yeah Bell Bellwether um is uh well um yeah Bellwether wants recognition by trying to be the hero but but she doesn't she does you know those he heroic acts in such an antagonistic way. Yeah, very an antagonistic way where she's responsible for uh dart for uh darting night howlers on uh, the the predators wanting them to uh fly against prey and, and she actually makes good points you know um that that, that you know prey should that, that you know she i think based on what i understand she she's jealous that that predators have more recognition than than prey so uh bellwether just wants uh prey so to to be seen as a hero because now uh now that predators are, are are seen as good they don't they're not evil anymore and and they just appear as big as strong praise are like you know like the, the little animals uh and, and and by little I mean like you know they get pushed aside and, and, and get neglect neglected a lot. So Bellwether's like I want to fix that. I want to go back to the old days because I really miss the old days. I, I think that the old days is is, is a period. So yeah, and Bellwether starts out as a very innocent, but was very manipulative. But when she actually reveals her true nature, boy is she just extremely evil. Yeah, Bellwether is very sinister as well. Like she literally shoots uh shoots a, a, a dart at Nick and, and, and makes Nick uh, like try to attack uh, Bellwether but uh, but it turns out um, Nick was just faking it the whole time and, and Bellwether literally like you know, confesses it like well actually realizing yo I frame Lionheart I frame, I'll frame you too it's my word against yours and boy uh, that is just 
Wow. So yeah. Um, I hope there's someone out there who actually understands Bellwether as much as I do and realizes that that Bellwether is actually a an amazing twist villain. Yeah, sure. The twist villain trope may be uh, overused, but I think Bellwether is hands down the best uh, twist villain uh, ever and my favorite villain of 2016 as well. So overall, yeah, I think I, I said everything that needed to be said in this 50-minute review. Zootopia is a masterpiece uh, with, its, uh, message, with its brilliant messages, uh, very accurate uh, depiction of animals and uh, de very um, accurate depiction of, of social commentary um, and social problems and, and, and um, having um, very inspiring messages. Uh, yeah, Zootopia surely is a masterclass in, in, in film. Yes, um, and right now, I would actually say that this and The Edge of Seventeen are, are tied as my favorite movie of 2016. I'll, I'll think about it on which one I give this light edge to, but maybe uh, as a Haley Steinfeld fan by myself, I'd give this light edge to uh, The Edge of Seventeen because I, I just love The Edge of Seventeen. Nathan Franklin is still my favorite. Uh, it's still my favorite uh, uh, character in 2016, yeah, even over Judy Hopps. And The Edge of Seventeen did uh, hit, make more of an impact to me than... Uh, than uh, um, Zootopia ever did, but this movie is without question the best animated movie of uh, 2016 and the best animated movie of 2016, and it deserved that win. And funny enough, how you know I I, I mentioned Hilly Steinfeld, the Hilly Steinfeld's Edge of Seventeen movie being my favorite movie of 2016, and then um Hilly Steinfeld literally uh um announcing the Zootopia as the best animated feature winner at the Oscars. Yeah, what a coincidence. Uh, yeah. So yeah, and as for my thoughts on Zootopia 2, yeah, uh, and yeah, um, as for my thoughts on uh, Zootopia 2, um, yeah, uh, now um, Disney uh, confirmed that, Disney um, announced, recently announced that Zootopia 2 is going to be taken uh, to the next level, uh, to the next level, it's going to be bigger and possibly they're aiming to make it better than the first Zootopia, and I actually believe that Zootopia 2 could actually be better than uh, the first Zootopia could be even better. Yeah, Zootopia 2 is now in my in one of my absolute most anticipated movies of all time. So yeah, that's all for my um, review of Zootopia. What are your thoughts on this movie? Do you agree with me that Zootopia is a masterpiece and uh, a perfect movie? Or um, do you do you um, think that um, this movie is flawed uh, despite being great? Or uh, do you agree with... Um, do you uh, think that, that Zootopia is overrated? Cause I know there's, cause I know there are some people that uh, I call. Uh, I I know some people who call Zootopia overrated. Oh yeah, I I forgot to rate the uh, Zootopia. Give Zootopia my rating, but obviously, well, duh, it's a five out of five, five stars out of five. Perfect movie. What else did there to say? Um, but yeah, comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for my uh my my well my review of Moana is definitely my next uh my next uh. Disney Revival Age review that I'm doing leading up to Wish, but there are actually two videos that I'm doing uh, outside of this marathon. Uh, one being my song review on the, the newly released uh, Wish song, uh, I'm a Star, and also my trailer reaction for uh, Ghostbusters, uh, the, the upcoming Ghostbusters movie, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Those first, and then Moana review. So yeah, bye guys.